So today, I'm gonna teach you how to balance this shit. What's up, people? Welcome back to the channel. And thank you so much for joining me. So today, I want to teach you guys something that I wish someone taught me before I ruined a lot of needles, and that is how to properly balance your needles on a turntable. Properly balancing your needle is very, very, very important because it allows you to get the most use possible out of your needles, which needles are expensive, and it allows you to sound the best as well. I'm surprised at how many DJs I know that use turntables all the time that just throw the weights on there. They don't balance it at all. So I figured I'd make this video, show you guys how to do it so you could prevent any issues. Now when balancing needles, some people like it heavier, some people like it lighter, but generally speaking, you wanna find the nice little sweet spot in between there that you like best, but that also isn't too heavy where it's gonna wear out your needle very quickly and completely sound like shit, or too light where it's like if you sneeze the wrong way, your needle flies off the record and the music stops and you ruin everybody's two steps. So without further ado, let me show you how to do this shit. All right, so here's our turntable and we have a weight and a needle, right? Your cartridge and your head shell and all that good stuff, it's all put together. Now, the first thing you wanna do is on your needle here, if you're using M447s or something similar, put your guard up. So I got my little guard up there, see that? See the little guards up? That prevents like, you know, you from messing up your needle throughout this entire process. Once you get good at it, you wanna live life on the edge and not have the guard, sure, but for now, put the guard up. So you wanna put your needle into the tone arm, screw it in there, right? Never too tight, but just enough, right? Then we're gonna take our weight and you'll see on each side of the weight that um, one side has a spinny thing here with like numbers on it, the other side don't have shit. Now you want the numbers to go on at first so the numbers are kind of facing you so you can see them. So you just wanna put them on here like so, right? And then now you have your weight on there, but it's not balanced, right? This is not where you stop. Now we have to actually go through the process of balancing it. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna find absolute zero and you know to find zero that is essentially when your tone arm is just bouncing like chilling but it's not all the way up like see how this is all the way up and this is all the way down it's not all the way up it's not all the way down it's just chilling right in the middle that is zero so essentially you want to that's why we have our guard on right just in case we you know hit anything we got our guard up and we want to adjust the weight until we find it is just floating in midair for us and there it is, we found our absolute zero right there. So if you could see, my, my tone arm is up, but it's not going all the way down, and it's not going all the way up. It's right in the middle. See that, it's just right in the middle floating. Now, you wanna mark your weight to zero by that line. So you'll see a line on your tone arm right here, there's a line, and you wanna mark that at zero. So now you're right at zero. So this is your zero point, right? Because everything's nicey nicey. Now, those numbers on the side are accurate, right? So zero weight means you're just chilling, right? You're just like bouncing in between. And now you can officially apply how, how much weight you wanna have on your needle. This is measured by grams. Typically you wanna have, you wanna move it up and you wanna have it about 2.5 to 3.5 here. I like 3.5 because I have a heavier hand, so I, I set it to 3.5. And when you set 3.5, you're good to go. So now you can take your thing off, put it right here, and you're good to go to play everything else. And that's it. Now keep in mind when you're doing this, you know, you wanna mess around with it. Maybe you'll like it lighter. Maybe you like it like 2.5, that's where you wanna be. Maybe you like it 3.5. I wouldn't go too much higher than that. You know, if you go back to zero, right? Cause it's only gonna go up to 3.5 and then you're gonna hit zero again, like around those spindle. That's essentially four grams. I wouldn't go any heavier than that because heavier than that, that's when it's really gonna weigh on your needle and really mess up that little bumpy thing on the bottom of your needle. If you feel the bottom of your needle, you feel that little bumpy thing. When that wears out, your needle's beat, you know what I mean? And also, if you have too much weight on your needle, you'll find that like your needle can actually turn and go like sideways, you know what I mean? And actually like go this way. And that's a problem too, because now you're not gonna stay in the groove as well. And your needle is more likely to like, you know, jump and skip when you're trying to scratch or do anything with it. And uh, it's gonna cause problems. Well, that's it people, how easy was that? Now you know how to officially balance your needles the correct way so you don't ruin your needles in the future and whatnot. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.